Our feminine article is sa and xa. These two articles is the feminine form for sa and qua. So the feminine article for this sa is tsa, t s schwa. So this is sa, tsa, and qua, qua. So hoped in this sentence means the deer, and sa hoped would mean the doe. In Klalem, the noun stays the same, but the article differs. Also, qua hoped would mean, I didn't write that down, but we would use this. Qua hoped is the not visible deer, and then if you use qua, would be the not visible female deer, which would be doe. These are not as common as other articles. The feminine form of the article isn't required. It's only used where it is needed to avoid confusion. If you have studied some other European language like Spanish, French, or German, you know that the feminine article is always required with a feminine noun. In Klalem, it's different from those languages in, the same, in this respect. Uh, one situation in which the feminine article is commonly used in is with certain words or relatives. For example, the column for aunt, like I said before, um, chach, you would use that for uncle and to feminize it to make sure that the person you're speaking with knows that you're talking about your aunt, you would use sachach, sachach for your aunt, sachach. And if she's not visible and you're talking about your aunt, you would say, Another situation in which the feminine article is often used is, is with words referring to items owned or associated with a woman or a girl. So a phrase like sa'aing refers to a house owned or lived in by a woman or a girl. The feminine article can sometimes even be used to refer to the smaller of a pair of males. For example, if you see two deer with antlers, they would obviously be dudes. Um, you can also use tsa hoped to refer to the smaller of the two deer. It's also important to remember that while tsa and kwa mark feminine, tsa and kwa do not necessarily mark masculinity. The non-feminine article, sa and qua, are simply neutral with respect to gender. The doe goes. Yeah, sa hoped. Yeah, sa hoped. Um, the doe that's not now visible goes. Yeah, sa hoped. Yeah, sa hoped. Um, the dough went. Yeah, yeah, it's a hope. Yeah, yeah, it's a hope. And the dough not visible went. Yeah, yeah, it's a hope. Yeah, yeah, it's a hope. I want to note something. When we use this sa uh, article, in these two models with the sa uh, are given for illustration purposes and are grammatical, but native speakers feel that these are somewhat strange. You will, um, when we saw for future tense, it implies that the speaker has, um, re was reasonably sure, has reasonably sure knowledge that some future event will happen. What makes these two sentences strange is that you can't usually be reasonably sure what a deer is going to do. So this is just for practice purposes. It is grammatically correct but it's not used. Uh, the dough will go. Yeah, yeah, it's a hope. Yeah, yeah, it's a hope. The dough went, how about the dough will go in the future? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a hope. Not visible, will go. Yeah, it's a, it's a hope, yeah. And did the deer that's not now visible go? Yeah, oh yeah, I hope. Yeah, oh yeah, I hope. And I took the dough. 
Question Zaho. Question Zaho. And I took the dough that's not visible. No. Question Zaho. Question Zaho. Now we'll go over the the Kunoi. Four point five. A schooner or yet? Yet. Kunoiyet. Four point five. From an article exercises. If you have this grammar book, it would be page thirty-four. So we'll go for the first one. First three for each column in English. Yeah, yeah, Kla hoped. And so we, here's our article. It means the female not visible deer. And this would be just the feminine article for cat or the female cat. Um, so yeah, yeah, Kla hoped. The not visible doe when. Quent since hoped. Quent since hoped. This looks like it doesn't have our uh, article topic, so it translates to I looked at the deer. Maybe we could translate or change that to Tsa. The young woman will get dressed. Eatsen is get dressed. Tsa for future tense. Kla Kakni. He is going to cut the deer. So cut is sheets and is going to. So then you would use your future tense. Sheets and then it says he. So sheets. Sa. And then. Sa hoped. Sheets. Oh, why is there a you? So erase that you that doesn't belong there. It makes it a question and it's not a question. So pleased oh my god. Pleased sa hoped. Pleased sa hoped. 